Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK. I'm out foraging again. It's uh, I think the 3rd of July and it's a beautiful sunny day and we're in Herefordshire and I've just found a mushroom that I've been looking forward to doing a video of for a couple of years now. It's just been one where when I found the mushroom I hadn't had the camera or the weather's been wrong or or something else has got in the way but not today. I am finally going to be able to show you how to identify the prince. Agaricus Augustus which you can see here. Now, first thing we obviously saw was the caps. And the caps have this quite distinctive patterning on them, a little bit like a dryad saddle, but um, the cap and the patterning on the cap isn't a key identifier for this species of agaric. That's because there's another agaric, the inky agaric, or the inky mushroom, Agaricus moelleri, which can have patterning reasonably similar. It's normally a slightly greyer or, or darker colouring than this, but it can be very, very similar. This tan brown is much more typical of the prints though. So underneath the cap, one thing that's very typical of the prints is this very long papery skirt. In fact, I've always said that this mushroom should be called the princess. Not the prince because of that lovely long skirt. One of the longest skirts in the whole mushroom world. So it's an agaric with patterning and a very long skirt. We know it's an agaric because it's got a stout stem and we've got these dark gills. The agarics, as soon as they're open, the agarics gills are pink to brown. You'll never see an agaric of this size with anything apart from brown gills or very dark pink to brown gills. But with all agarics, that grow in the UK, there's two things you need to know. There's uh, at least 37 different species in the UK. Only three of them are poisonous and one of them is very rare, so you're not likely to find it. That's the Agaricus palatianus. Uh, the Agaricus moelleri, the inky agaric, and uh, the Agaricus xanthodermis, the yellow stainer, both share two key sort of facets. Now that is that they both stain yellow when you damage them and they both uh, smell absolutely awful. They smell chemically. People say it reminds them of Indian ink or phenol. There's a, a nasty non-edible smell to, to the poisonous members of this family. Whereas all the edible members of this family smell edible. They either smell of mushrooms or they smell of aniseed or with the prints, the kind of key identifier for this mushroom is that it's got a smell with hints of almond and aniseed on the side. So just to get that smell a little bit clearer, I'm gonna cut the mushroom. I'm just gonna cut a little bit off the edge of the cap and hopefully not expose a million maggot. No, look at that, a prince that's perfectly edible with no little maggoty invaders at all. Now, key identifier, the smell. I'm definitely getting hints of almond with the smell there. Now, almond in the natural world could be an indicator of cyanide. That's uh, obviously not something that you want to consume, but not in this case. In this case, it means that I've got my friend the prince, which is a lovely find and certainly one I'm going to be eating later on. Just remember, it's a bigger garret with this fancy patterning on the top, a very long skirt, and a smell reminiscent of almonds with maybe a hint of aniseed on the side. That means you've got this one, the Agaricus Augustus. Now, if you want to find out more, go to www.wildfooduk.com.